Good morning, Captains. I'm Caitlin Starkey, here with the rest of the seniors from WK Today. Today is Thursday, May 24th, and we're coming to you with our final episode of WK Today. Seniors, we only have two and a half days of school left. On Wednesday, May 30th, we will take part in the senior rope walk and lunch. If your parents would like to see you and take part, see you take part in the rope walk, please have them arrive and check in in the office at 1015. Anyone who participated in the art show or is a former art student, please see Mrs. Groff or Mr. Putty to claim your artwork. If it is not picked up by June 1st, it will be disposed of. Yearbooks are still available at first come, first serve basis. You can pick yours up during 6th hour only in room 501 for $90. They will accept cash or checks made out to WKHS. Ever dreamed of traveling to a foreign country? How about two? Pack your bags and join your friends for a Kettering adventure to France and Spain. The trip will take place in spring of 2020, which gives you plenty of time to plan and save money. Come to an informational meeting for students and parents next Thursday, May 31st at 6.30 p.m. in the LGI to learn more. This great opportunity is open to all students. In sports today for our captains, the boys golf team will tee off in the Lakes Valley Conference Tournament at Bay Point. Girls softball will take on Holly High School in a doubleheader. Varsity is away starting at 4 and JV is home starting at 4.30. Boys freshman baseball will take on Lakeland at doubleheader starting at 4, while Varsity will take on Our Lady at the Lakes at 4.30. Girls soccer is away at South Lion. JV will play at 5.30 and Varsity at 6.45. Finally, girls lacrosse will play in the regional game at Lake Orion against Heartland at 7. Fall sideline cheer trials will be Tuesday, June 5th, and Wednesday, June 6th from 3 to 6 p.m. in North Gym. Dance team trials will be June 6th, 7th, 8th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the South Gym. Wear workout attire and tennis shoes. A current sports physical needs to be on file for both trials. Voting for Student Council Executive Board opens today. Yesterday we left off one of the candidates for sophomore vice president. Let's take a look at her commercial. Hello, my name is Michaela Michaela and I'm voting for sophomore vice president. I am best eligible for this position because I am a hardworking student at Waterford Kettering and a dedicated student council member. I will listen to all of your complaints and try my best to resolve them. Vote for me and I'll make sure that sophomore year is one of the best years we'll have. Make your voice heard and don't forget to vote between today and tomorrow. It's our senior show and we wanted to bring you one final Captain Kettering who has some good advice for all underclassmen. Let's take a look. My name is Andrea Alvarado. I am a senior and I've spent the last four years of my life at Kettering High School. So freshman year, I actually kind of was a little, not a little, like really nervous freshman year. And so I kind of like stayed with the people I knew already. Um, and you know, I was involved in a like theater and choir, like to meet new people. It's kind of been like really easy for me to like make new friends and get to know people. And it was a very different experience than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot harder and, you know, a lot scarier, but it actually wasn't. It was actually really nice. And <laughs> I saw it from here. Um, it was, I guess, like, I was told, you know, during the freshman and sophomore year, you know, are, like, crucial when it comes to, like, your grades because that, like, starts you out and, like, I was trying to focus, you know, more on keeping like my grades up so I can go into like junior and senior year, like taking easier classes and stuff like that. And I mean, it was just a little bit easier because you like come back and you already know what's already going on. My junior year, actually, it was really nice. I mean, I got excited because, you know, just I had one more year left. Kind of sad though in a way because, you know, people that I was close to my freshman and sophomore years, you know, kind of like distanced. After high school you like realize further down the line that some of these people you're still gonna be friends with but some of them you're not. And I didn't even really feel like a junior. I still just felt like I was here. I really wasn't worried about anything but you know that's when we started getting pressuring with starting to look at colleges early, looking at like what you want to do and like choices. So it was it was a lot. It was starting to get harder but you know still didn't hit me yet that I had one more year left. Oh, my senior year this year. I really don't feel like a senior. Even though time has passed, 
it still hasn't hit me yet that I'm going to be graduating. Something that I realized is that the people that you met here, that you made memories with, you're going to want to cherish those as much as you can. My favorite memory in high school would be going to New York my junior year and performing at Carnegie because I never really been anywhere big before and so that was like my big like to-do trip I wanted to do. I was just glad that we had the opportunity to go. What will I miss the most? I actually would miss a lot of the teachers here and like the faculty because a lot of them are so nice and so helpful and friendly and you know you never think that you would make really good bonds or relationship with teachers and I've done that with teachers that I've had and teachers I haven't even had but like would pop in their room and you know we'd start a conversation and now they know me and I know them and even though I'm not there they still love me and you know I still love them. What do I want to do after high school? Well I plan on going to OCC to do my prereqs and then I'm going to transfer somewhere because I am very undecided whether I want to still pursue music or if I want to go into photography. What would I say to myself as a freshman coming in? Knowing the choices that I've made and the people that I've became friends with and the memories I've made, you're going to do fine because I don't regret any of my decisions that I've made. And I am, was very happy with how my high school years went. And they're just going to be unforgettable memories. Thanks, thanks, Andrea, for sharing. And while we aren't experts, we all want to leave the underclassmen with some words of advice as well. Let's start with Carly. Um, I would say make good choices. Even though like you're going to be presented with a lot of things that sound like fun, be kind of smart about it, you know? Uh, my words of advice is, uh, come to school. <laughs> Just work hard. Keep your grades up, but always find time for fun. Uh, my word of advice is, make smart choices at school events. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my words of advice are, take broadcasting because it's a fun class. If anyone has interest in joining the super fun broadcasting class for next year, there is still room. Please see Mrs. Warren or your counselor to sign up, and you won't regret it. Well, that's all we, we have for you today. <laughs> Signing off for our last time is WTJ Anchors. Have a great rest of the school year.